Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking, looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, November 30th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And if you'd like to access to our full technical analysis, our signal service and also our live trading, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And uh, we'll do a recap of what happened last week because uh, it was expected for Bitcoin to go to the all time highs. We got very close. We got to 9,000, 19,000, sorry, 415. And then this market absolutely collapsed. It fell from 19,435 all the way down towards 16,118, there, give or take. So it is expected for Bitcoin to go all the way down towards 15,000. That was the target. However, it's very unusual to have such a big fall in, in one scoop, as I can, I can say that in that way. Uh, what usually happens is that you have this massive fall when you have a bubble like this. You have a massive fall, you have a pullback towards around the half where we are at the moment. So we're at 18,000, and that is also what I expected from Bitcoin to uh, find major resistance around 18,000. So if we rally from here, if we rally further, then, then the target would be 18,871, give or take 18,800, something like that. So basically the, the previous highs here, that should be enormous resistance. And if that breaks, then I think that we are going to the all-time highs to 20,000. I think that we are going to find major resistance here as we are already, which is already showing. But if this breaks and we rally further, then this would be our next target. This would surely be uh, either we break to the downside towards 15,000 or we go sig significantly higher. So at the moment, due to the massive fall last week, uh, these technical indicators have all changed. For example, we in the RSI, we're no longer overbought. So there is room to the upside in, in, the, in, in Bitcoin. We were at, I think it was over 80, 87, something like that. That was significantly overbought and was just a matter of time before we broke to the downside. So all the indicators broke down. We have been rallying the last uh, uh, three trading days, you can say that, at least the last two trading days. And at the moment, the stochastic is crossing the signal line. The, the CCI is very fairly bullish at this point, but the MACD is still not very bullish. So it takes longer for the MACD to, to cross the signal line and so on. But this was an indication here. We crossed and then it broke down significantly. I don't think that we'll see another crossing of the signal line anytime soon in the MACD. I think that we are going to, to uh, see it go up towards the signal line and then fall back down. Um, because I don't think that this market is going to go significantly higher. That's just my expectation of this. I think we are running into resistance here and we'll have another go towards the 15,000 uh, before we go higher. I don't think the Bitcoin will collapse like it did uh, back in um, 2017. You can see it here. So in 2017, we rallied all the way up towards 20,000 and nearly 200, and then we collapsed all the way down to 3,000. Don't think that is going to happen here. I think that we are going to first test 15,000, which is roughly here, and then we're going to bounce off the 50 moving average, and then we'll see what basically happens there. But the, 12, uh, the, uh, the weekly chart is looking very, very bearish at this point. We can see that we are oversold in the weekly chart, 81. Uh, so this, you should be paying attention to this, everybody that's thinking about buying Bitcoin. Not a good idea. Not at this point. Uh, CCI, also a big warning here. The, the Stochastic, also a big warning here. And the MACD, it is it's about, you can basically show, it has changed to become more flat. It's still bullish, but it's it's... It takes longer for the MACD to basically uh, turn around compared to the stochastic and the CCI and, and also the RSI. But if you look at the four hour chart for Bitcoin, we can see that this is the reason why we are running into resistance. We are basically rallying up towards the 50 moving average in the four hour chart, and that is uh, acting as resistance. So 
the question is if we uh, manage to break this i don't think we are going to do that we are, i think that we are going to go down from here towards the 200 uh, moving average and that's around 16000 if that breaks that opens the door to 15000 so pay attention to the 4 hour chart we are running in the resistance of the 50 moving average in the 4 hour chart so let's look at each room and we'll go back to the daily candle So Ethereum had a similar rally as Bitcoin. It also had a very aggressive um, uh, selling uh, sell off in the last three days here, and now we have been rallying. So it is the same move here. It's um, if we manage to go all the way up to around 600 and break 600, then we are going to test the all-time highs again. I don't think that is going to happen. I think that we're going to run into resistance around this area here, very similar to Bitcoin, which we are already running into. So there is room to the upside. There is uh, does, uh, RSI is 62 and uh, does, uh, does, uh, um, CCI is turning around, the stochastic is turning around and the, uh, the MACD is technically flat at this point. But I think that we are going to fall lower. I think we're going to target this area here, which is around 450. And that will also um, coincide with the 50 moving average traveling this way. So we'll hit both of those areas at the same time, and that will act as major uh, resistance for for uh, support for this mar for this market. So what I think will happen here: we have a rally, we have a breakdown, and we hit exactly where we expected it to hit. It's basically the top of this, and also the previous highs over here. Now we are rallying again up around the 50 mark. I can probably. Look at the Fibonacci retracement that should be around that area, which is the 50. Very common rally up to about the 50 and then go back down again. We could go all the way to the 60, that is around um, 566, before going back down towards the 50 moving average. And then you technically have to see what happens. We could break through the 50. I don't expect that to happen. I think that we will rally from the 50 moving average and then go higher from there. Um, this is not the same situation as we had back in, in, for example, the cryptocurrency market as a whole, as we had back in uh, 2017, where it was just a gigantic bubble that was going to burst at any some point, and uh, where markets were extremely volatile. This more uh, is less volatile now, and uh, it's more controlled at this point. If you look at the weekly chart for Ethereum, you can also see that we are overbought and we expect this market to fall at least for a week or two that is it is not going to rally uh, the next week or two we are going to go lower and stay in the range here and then go higher when we have the necessary momentum to to do so so hope you find this video helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos and if you want to have access to our full technical analysis you're welcome to join us over at the patreon you also get access to our signal service and our online trading so good luck and thank you very much